factor with the wins in Nebraska. We've been getting them this spring. We got them all last year. So that's a factor in, in the big ball kicks um, for Brian. It's also a factor in the kicking part of it. So Tristan, you know, is working on that as well. You know, Tristan coming out of the season at, at 60%, that's not good enough for us to, you know, to win five games probably. So we have to get that percentage uh, up significantly. And, and I, he has shown that so far. He's having a good spring for us. And, you know, he's made some improvements in his technique and he's uh, stronger. So we're making improvements. But the, but the, the, th the theme is um, for both of those guys is to, you know, we're also working with a new snapper. So, you know, uh, Cam, uh, Camden Wataki has been snapping as a, as a new snapper. And, and they gotta, you know, they're getting used to him, not used to him, but they're just, you know, getting into the rhythm of, you know, working together. How's that, how's that Wataki, how's that picture look? I mean, you guys have not had any trouble in that area at all, right? Why? Why you got to say that? <laughs> You're like my son. He's like, you know, it's like a jinx. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's. Uh, you know, there's been uh, uh, Marco set the trend last year, and you know Marco was a, was a consummate pro. We were really fortunate to get him, um, and and he's done really well out in the and got himself invited to you know different um, you know combines, and a lot of NFL teams are looking at him right now. So you know, for for Camden to be able to to work with him uh, last year was really critical, and got a really not just a sense of like you know how to snap the football, but also how to you know how to perfect the craft. I mean, Marco was working all the time. Well, you know, you, you guys understand, like, they're trying not just to get the ball to the holder. They're trying to get the ball to the holder so the holder can just take it and, and put it down and doesn't have to move the laces at all. So, I mean, I think Marco is as good a short snapper as I've worked with, you know, and, and he was great with that. And he was meticulous about the details. And for, for Camden to see that was was really cool. So, you know, he had a good year experience behind Marco, and now he's, you know, he's got he's to step up and do it. How do you replicate that? Um, it's just for, you know, we were talking about this today. We were talking about this today with Camden where, you know, to try to get that level of consistency where the laces are perfect. And, I, and it, you know, perfection is perfection. We're always striving for it, but we don't always get it. So sometimes, you know, Amy, we're looking at like 85 or 90 percent when it's all said and done. But, like, you just got to go and rep. So today we were talking about. He's like, Coach, I shot that thing back the same way, and it was a half turn, half turn, meaning I had a turn, you know, Brian had to turn the ball, and then the next time it was it was perfect. So he has to have a feel for the velocity of the snap and the ro literally the ro counting the rotations of the ball coming back. It's that amount of detail. So he just has to really, he's working with making sure that velocity and how the ball feels coming out of his hand. Um, you know, is the same every time. He, you know, he and he again because he's worked under Marco because he's that kind of kid. He said to me, you know, in the last practice, he had put a couple of snaps inside and said, "Coach, look at my feet." You know, one of his feet was staggered, and it was like I was I had to look at it real close, but it was like you know two inches. But it's really, it's like a golf swing. It's the same thing over and over and over again with the perfect technique, the perfect hand motion, the feet placed the right way, and. And again, we're not just talking about snapping it so that he can catch it, like you know, like Charlie Brown and Lucy. You know, it's like and they, you know, it's like that ball's got to be there and just put, you know, put right down to give us, to give us the best, the best chance to get it through. What kind of, what kind of growth have you seen from, uh, from Tristan one year in? Um, now, now, is, is there consistency, more consistency in the routine that he goes through every time he kicks the ball? Yeah, there's a lot more. Like we, and and it's a lot more things that we were able to work on together. Um, you know, coming through and the resources here are great. So, you know, we can send film or I can talk to guys like, you know, like Chris Brown or Brett Maher or uh, Alex Henry. These are all guys that I, that I have, you know, I could talk to on a regular basis to kind of look at things and, and see if it's like a sounding board. And I, I've gotten to the point now, and it did, this didn't happen to the degree that I wanted it to during the season, to be perfectly honest with you, where I know how he's lining up and, and exactly, um, you know, what it looks like. Because, you know, even though I worked with him last summer a little bit, as we got into the season, there were a number of things that we were working on technically. And it's like, you know, he's 18 years old, so it's like, do you want to go in there and, and, and make wholesale changes to what he's done? And we were, so I was really trying to, you know, to, to look at what we were doing and, and, and simplify it for him. Um, but now we're, we're way better on the same page in terms of exactly, the, and it's really regards to the setup on the ball and how he's lining up. And, and um, he, yeah, we're, so we're, he's, he's grown 
you know, in just us growing together and him being able to get those that approach down is way more consistent and, and I think way better. Um, and he's stronger. So he's been, you know, another year, another whatever, six months in our weight program. So his core strength is, is better. He's got a strong leg, as you guys know. But, like, you know, he's hitting it, you know, he's hitting it with a lot of confidence right now. Since he came in here with so much hype and, and praise and all that, I mean, did you find yourself, since he was just a freshman, having to boost his confidence to all while still coaching him, saying, hey, it's going to be all right, you're young, you're going to make mistakes? Yeah, and, and you know, that's how coaching is now in, in, you know, in this day and age, really, with just just about everybody, but, you know, in a situation where you're starting a freshman, it's it's especially evident. But there's a fine line between you know pushing and and and, and backing off and you know and encouraging and you know getting them to you know getting them to stay focused. So uh, that's the hardest part about coaching you know, with and any guy you know the guys in your room, uh, whether I was coaching the tight ends or the O line or now now special teams, they all have kind of different approaches and different buttons to push or different ways to motivate them to get them to perform so most of it was was it you know with with Tristan and with with the guys nowadays there's not a lot of like you know pushing them to become more intense it's really the other part of it they're so like uh, obsessive at times with with their craft that you know and, and our, everything that they do is out in front of the whole world now it's not like when, when you know when we played it was like you could make a mistake and no, no nobody cared or nobody knew now it's like you know they put so much pressure with this social media identity that they have um, that they, they're putting a lot of pressure on themselves I can't even imagine like if you think about Tristan right so he's 18 years old He's been coming to the stadium since he's been five years old with his with his grandfather, and you know he goes through his whole life like he's watching from the stands for fifteen years, and now all of a sudden, you know he he, he, goes, he goes into what's the thirteenth grade, and he's now on the field kicking. Like, can you guys even imagine what that would be like? I mean, it's like you put yourself in those shoes, and it's like you know, wow, yeah. But but he's he's really good. Like Tristan's really good with like he's intense. He's locked in, he's focused, and he can miss one, and then he, he can flush it, and he can take a breath, and he can get himself back to that square one. And he rarely misses two in a row. Like, if he misses one, um, you know, he's he's fixing it, and it's, it's on to the next one. He's really, like, for a young kid, he's got, like, really good maturity that way. With the, uh, the NFL kind of changing their kickoff approach, I mean, do, do you foresee that being in college soon or, or? – that was us last spring. Did you see us spring yeah, that? Yeah, we were all we we were at we're at the cutting edge of that. Um, I, I I don't know what I don't have any idea what the college what the college game will do, but it's not surprising to me that you know that the NFL is trying is trying. I, I applaud the NFL for trying something different because um, I know that there's an element of the NFL. There's an element of anything that you that, that is successful where it's like you know do you really want to change it? So uh, you know I don't know how what the data. It is in terms of the you know the true amounts of injuries at the college game as opposed to the NFL. I know when I was a special teams coach in the NFL, they were looking at the punt play for soft tissue injuries, and the data had come back to us, and we had gotten in the room as special teams coaches and said we we, we want an answer for soft tissue inj injuries on the punt play, and we all sat down about I don't know it was about forty of us in a, on a Zoom call talking about the, you know the ways that the injury we watched all the plays where guys got injured I, I don't know what the data is right now at the college level on that particular play but I would you know I, I think that there's always whenever you're looking at things to do uh, make changes in the game for safety sake it's, it, why not try it I mean it's worth it to try to see what how we can make the game safer so I could see it happening but I wouldn't be surprised if, if it didn't either. Did you connect with Cam Jurgensen and talk about the Eagles? Of course, I, I, after I almost ran him over in the cart today, you know, out there we I, we drive drive a golf cart around because we have three fields going. So wherever the kicks need to go, I'm zipping around in the cart. And I was yeah, but yeah, we were talking about uh, we're absolutely talking about the Eagles uh, for sure. We we're talking about uh, Jason Kelsey, how he came out of WrestleMania. 72 out there and had the mask on and him and Lane Johnson came out in Philadelphia for WrestleMania and wrestled their way to start him. There's a lot of there's a lot of early enrollees on this team. Have you found an eagerness with some of those guys even popping their head in your office wanting to be a part of, of things? Yeah, there there are. And there's some that and there's some that aren't. So like and and the ones that do are a little bit ahead, but the team has is there's so much leadership and maturity with with regards to special teams on our team that the the, the new enrollees are even if they're really good and they're coming in and a lot of them are coming like a lot of those young uh, line defensive players those line they're they're coming in like they're and, and I don't I, I tell them I say guys if you come into my office 
and we talk special teams. I, I tell them five minutes, and sometimes it's five or six. But I don't. I'm not going to have. I'm not going to give them a lecture on life. I'm going to come in and say, here's what we're. Here's what. Here's your reps. Here's what you did in practice today, and here's what you can do better. And I and I say that's five minutes. That's it. Because I don't want them to be like. You know, thinking like, oh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go into Coach Foley's office, and he's going to give me a lecture, or he's going to beat me down. I'm not. I'm just saying, here's here's what we need to do, and you know, pay attention in the meetings. And the older guy, but the older guys are so helpful. Like there's so many veteran players that are that are helping with all that now, um, and they all they have to do. Like I literally tell them, I'm like, just watch the guy in front of you. Like you know, yeah, Isaac Gifford's going to go up there, and he's going to do it just about perfectly. And if you watch him do it, then you know you can learn from that. So, and then uh, Isaac, you know, Isaac coaching them to do it so um but yeah th I, there's some really talented players there that are going to really help us on special teams and it's my job to just you know get them progressed along in the spring as much as possible who do you have working at punt return uh ethan nation's working at punt returner uh, you know isaiah uh Gar garcia castaneda is, is is a guy that's doing him he's just he's limited in terms of his his injuries um, so, you know, Ethan's taking some reps back there. There's some other young player. I don't I, the young beyond him, like he, cause he's done it a little bit on the field force and he's working like he came out, we would have the jugs out there um, right after the signing date and he'd go out there and catch 30 or 40 a, a day. And uh, it, it, the issue he, here in the, well, the issue anywhere, but like, especially here is like tracking the ball. We have a bunch of guys that can catch a punt. It's the actual watching the ball and, and with the wind conditions. And then, you know, they go, we go from jugs to, you know, Jacob Holes doing some punting for us. So they go from Brian to Jacob to the jugs. And then you got, like I said, if you're on the turf field, you got a crosswind. If you're on the grass field, you got the wind either in your face or, or at your back. So all those things are, are the guys are making really good progress with that. Other guys, other than those two um, are making progress with it. But, um, you know, that's going to, that'll be, the, I, we got to, we got to build, my job is to build, you know, we got to get four or five guys that can, that can do that. As you know, we ran into that a little bit last year where we had some injury issues with that. And, you know, it was, um, and we, we we'll, but we need a, we need a, a major improvement in that area. All right. Thanks, Thank coach. You. Thank you guys. Thank you.